it is it basically Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is, I know it made you tap tap on there, right? Because this is something I would love to watch too. Like people's makeup collection, what do they have? These things are such mystery, right? But I'm gonna disappoint you a little bit in here because I am somebody who doesn't have two of anything. Like I think it might come out a little um, absurd or a little, I don't know. But it's true that I don't like to spend a lot on anything. Say if I have a primer, I will use it till it finishes and then I'll purchase the next. I don't have a primer from NYX and then another primer from Maybelline. Uh, many people like to do that. They love to have collections and also probably because uh, different types of beauty products work for different types of occasions. Some are matte, some are non-matte, some are creamy, greasy, whatever. But uh, well, I like to pick one because I'm a little stingy again. If you guys are new here, then please press the subscribe button. I make one video every week. Before we get started with the video, let me just tell you guys, I am no beauty guru. So everything I have in here, I purchase myself. I do not get beauty products for free from any brands as such. I am a fashion blogger. So I do get a few clothes and stuff. This is this is something that came in a PR. There's a reason why I'm making this video today. Like I'm just not making it randomly. Um, I'll tell you the reason at the end, okay? At the end of the video. So keep watching. From the start, all right? My favorite two moisturizers right now um, that obviously we use pre makeup, the paste and stuff. Uh, so I use the Body Shop Oils of Life or the Pond's Super Light Gel. It's the second thing. Now this is something I'm embarrassed of, right? For a very long time, I didn't feel like primers have any such major importance in the makeup routine, okay? So I used my brain a little bit and I kept one aloe vera gel, which I heard works like a primer. What does this primer thing even like do? So I got one <laughs> and yeah, as I mentioned that I don't have two of anything So I haven't bought another one. I'm gonna wait till this one finishes A few other things I like to use for my base are illuminating moisturizers or like illuminators Something that's from the brand called Sugar. It's like a, a glowy moisturizer You put it on and you kind of start shining and then you put on your foundation And this one again is from a brand called Insight. It is kind of cheap that is one of the reasons why I got it. So it works, okay? It works really nice. It is light wear, and then it is a very good uh, liquid highlighter. Coming to the bronzers, I had this bronzer, which was from Baton Italy, and it became, uh, as you can see, it's moving inside. It basically broke, and then I had to purchase this one. This one is from Pose My Glam. I have three powder highlighters, and this one, two cream ones, and this one is two and a half, three years old, okay. Rahul went to Bangalore and that time we didn't have MAC in our city. There was no Nika also, I swear. So then he bought this one for me. This one cost somewhat around 3,000 bucks at that time. And it's still there. I haven't finished it. Like, I don't know why. Does makeup expire? I think so, right? Probably I'm gonna have to throw it uh, after another year. Like, I'm a keeper in terms of makeup, okay. Whatever I love is just gonna stay there. <laughs> I'm gonna use so less. That was a golden highlighter. This one is from Vatten Italy. It's a silver one. It's not that good, I'll be honest. It's very chalky. Try and not purchase that one. It's still like lying there. I haven't really used it. Then there's a Wet n Wild one. It's the rosy highlighter. It's really nice. Okay, I like to use it. For the last year, I grew more fond of having eyeshadows or like putting colored eyeshadows. But the thing is that I don't, I didn't exactly know what sort of eyeshadow to use, okay? Because let's be honest, I'm not a beauty guru. So I saw Makeup Revolution palettes first thing on Nykaa and I went like, I need this thing, okay? Because it had like extreme amount of colors. This is the first one. This has got like all the colors. It's called the, I, I've destroyed it, okay? Revolution Regeneration Trends Mischief Mats. And for neutrals, I purchased this one, the pretty incredible palette this one is all neutrals like oranges and the browns and the like highlighter after purchasing both of them i realized i have nothing in shimmer and glitter and all that okay so i purchased this one which is the regeneration trends celestial and this has like the same shades from the first matte collection but in shimmers and glitters like those are the three eyeshadow palettes that i have and all of them are for makeup revolution and i was, I was sort of happy with them till i realized that these are not really showing on my skin that properly as i would want them to. At the end of the day, Makeup Revolution is a drugstore brand and uh, I didn't know about it. I was just concerned about the color. I am such an idiot. I forgot to show you guys foundation. 
Okay, so first of all, this is my everyday use a BB foundation. This is one shade lighter than me, two shades actually, I don't use it anymore. Um, this is when I thought I could make myself fairer with the help of foundation. <laughs> Yeah, I did that at one point. This one is what I purchased from Delhi when I realized that I love my dusty skin. This is one shade even darker than me, if you can see. It's the True Match from L'Oreal and they have three shades which are for dusky skin tone. And then obviously, like every girl has a matteless pore by Fit Me Maybelline. Uh, this is exactly my skin tone, 228. And then again, matte foundation, so I obviously do not use it every day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, in fact, I don't even use foundation every day. I like to use only my concealer, the MAC one. I would use on the days I don't want to damage my skin, like today, like I don't have any foundation. It's just a little bit of concealer under my eyes. This little thing cost me 2500 rupees or 2800, can you believe it? But it works well, okay? That's why I'm not even complaining, like it's amazing. It's got a good decent amount, uh, but yeah, I use it wisely. Okay guys, with all honesty, I went out for a bit to grab some essentials in the afternoon and then I came back, had my lunch, even napped for a bit and then I played PUBG and then I had my snacks and now I'm back to making the video. So basically, you can call me a lazy ass. My whole makeup is gone. Irony, this video is about me showing you my makeup stuff, not on my face. So yeah, let's reverse back to this, right? You haven't noticed it yet, but most of the things that I have in my makeup closet is creamy. I love to use cream-based products. I feel like they give a more natural look. So my blushes, both of these are from YBP. The thing that we have is eyeliners and cudgels, okay? Now I have a lot of them. These are just six, but there's obviously there's more of them because my mom is obsessed with cudgels and she complains that I keep stealing her cudgels, which is really not true, I swear. But my most favorite one out of all of them currently is the Estee Lauder one. It's a double wear stay in place eyeliner pencil and it comes with a smudger, okay? I mean, you literally do not need to use your fingers now. It is, there's a replacement to smudge your eyeliner and they will charge thousand bucks extra for this to replace your finger. One of my recent purchases and I have lost one. <laughs> I mean, it's somewhere in there. I'll have to search for it. So there's this whole uh, baksa. It's not a baksa. It's a chamkila kapra. Okay. So these brushes are not at all expensive. These are somewhere around 1500 or something. The whole pack. Yeah. I know. I mean, brushes. Nowadays, those small, small brushes, you get them for 600. Concealer brushes, they cost around 2000. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> what? Okay, the dupes of MAC that I was talking about, I have completely dirtied them. This one is my most favorite concealer brush and this is very precise actually. I use it almost every day. Let me know if I should be investing in brushes because that is one of the main things that I haven't invested in at all. Filling some secrets right now. Uh, this is a tragedy I'm holding in a cup. Actually, there was this uh, lipstick brand. These are very small, small samples of lipsticks which are not yet launched. So I can't, I, I'm not gonna tell you the brand name. I'm not gonna tell you anything else. I'm just saying that this was a brand. They were actually going to launch lipsticks and one of the lipsticks I think was going to be named after me or something like that. <laughs> So it's gonna happen before lockdown. So I think they are postponing the launch. I don't know, I don't have any information yet. Like most of my other work, payments, at least till Rona is out there open in the world. Okay, so other random stuff, I'm not gonna show you. Let's end this whole thing with something that I have too many of. Guess what it is. Yes, you guessed it right. It's lipsticks. Now, at times, even I feel like, why do I even have the shade of lipstick? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't look good on me. I have a purple lipstick. I have a fully brown lipstick for some reason. I have almost a neonish lipstick. I'll show you guys three or four of my shades that I am obsessed with right now. First of all, is the shade Big Spender from Smashbox. It is something I'm wearing right now. And the second shade I have is Midtown Pink from Maybelline Creamy Matte. And I have Mocha from MAC. People say this looks amazing on me. I don't know, I mean. And then my most favorite one and the tiniest lipstick that I have in here, Estee Lauder Rebellious Rose. Maybe I'll make a proper swatch video someday showing you guys all these lipsticks. At least my favorite shades. If you want that video, then please let me know in the comments below. Getting to the very end, uh, obviously I have the MAC 
prep and prime fixer which is a necessity it's a product which is expensive but as soon as you get it you realize this will change your life and i have a lot of makeup removers because i always clean my skin before going to sleep okay guys since we've come to the ending of this video now i'm going to tell you why i decided to make this video in the first place everything i have in here is mostly essentials they are not like too many of anything not too high end the only thing that i have too many are lipsticks which i am kind of obsessed with i have been obsessed with one more thing currently and that is eye shadows these days these things are so expensive a palette a good quality palette is worth 5000 4500 i don't want to be sure before i invest that much so recently i ordered some things for me and i ordered a good eye shadow palette because i got a lot of reviews about it so it's on its way i ordered it from nykaa let's just like pray for me that it comes fast i'm not going to tell you which eye shadow palette i ordered we are going to have a separate video about that in the next one all right so that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this if you did then please make sure to drop a like and a comment below and i will see you guys in the next week be it my makeup order or not even if it doesn't come i'm still going to see you next week with some other video see you guys soon